can do. Go ahead and do that one. That's your y intercept of the equation. So when you start your equation, you should always start. That's when you, when you want to graph these. Usually, if, it, if it's all given to you, look at the y intercept first. That's where you know your line starts. If you remember, when we graph before, where did the line usually start? Does anybody remember where your, your line used to start when we were just graphing the slope? Zero. Zero, yes, Justin. Did that. Zero. The graph line started at zero. But with, the, with this equation, they can start anywhere. So they can start at 1, 2, 3, negative 1. They can be any the number. They can be any number that will be on the y-axis. So let's look at the question they have for me. So Douglas is giving away. I'm going to do this one for you guys. I want you guys to do this. Douglas is giving away tickets to a concert that he won from a radio station concert. Currently, he has 10 tickets remaining. He gives a pair of tickets to each person who asks for them. So, and here they make, this, you would, normally you make equations in this sense, for the paragraph. They give you the equations. So they say, y number tickets available, and x equals number tickets, which is what you have to request the tickets. So when you we look at the word, the letters in this, uh, or numbers in this question, you see 10 tickets, and then you would get a pair of tickets. Now how much is a pair? Two. Two, that's the point you need to know, pair of two. A pair of tickets to each person who asks for so which number is set? Which number is not going to change? Of these? Ten. Ten, ten, ten is set. Ten is not going to change. And that's going to be with y intercept because it's a number when x is a zero. So even if you haven't sold any, you haven't, you haven't given any of ten, you haven't, you haven't given any ten sets, you still have ten. So they give you the equation here. So they give us equations that we're going to graph. So we have our equation negative two. So he's losing tickets. He starts with ten. He's giving away two. This is where reading is very important because you have to see he has a pair of tickets. He's giving them away, which means he's losing it. And they said he was gaining tickets. What what would this look like? If he was get, so if he was set, well, let's say if he was gaining tickets, if he was collecting them, what would the slope be? positive because the number will be increasing. So let's look at our y intercept. It's 10, right? What are the coordinates of the, the, of the our y intercept? What the, if, uh, the slope, if the y intercept is 10, what's the coordinates of it? What's the x value when we jo jolly it? When the y intercept is 10, what's the x, what's the x equal? So remember, y, zero. Remember, wire set always looks like zero comma ten. So we go graph. So over here, zero up to ten. That's that's our first point. I'm gonna graph. So now we just so who remembers how we graph slope? Rise over rise over rise. But our slope is neg. Okay, so now the slope is negative. So which way should the line be facing? Which way does the line go? Down. Down. Going like this, you're facing the line. The line's going down. So, what's going negative? So, how many should I go down here? So, we go 10 to 8. And where should I go next? Not, no. Remember, we're getting slope. Remember, slope is, can be, but slope is always a fraction. So, this is the slope here is negative 2 over 1. So when we go down two, we have to go over one. Remember? So it should be down, and then we keep going. Down two, over one. And then down two, over one. And now we have enough points because we feel like we can make our, if we want to be, want to be 
fancy, we could go to the other side, go up to over one just so to keep, keep the lines going. And then we're just going to draw our line. Make sure you have arrows on both sides. After at least, I did that wrong, sorry. This is where you have to know the problem. I, was, I said that wrong, sorry. Because he, he's giving away tickets, he's never had more than 10. So the line tends to far too far together. There are going to be equations where you can go far, go a little far on the side. So you're only going down. And that's how it graphs. Right, so it's not a super complicated process, but when, when, once you get an equation, the, the more challenging part is going to be being able to read this, read this paragraph here and figure out how to make this equation, but then graph it. That's probably going to be the more challenging part. So let's go to the next, let's go to page 197. What's our y intercept here? Three. Y intercept. Remember we went on last page and said zero. Okay, that's easy. <laughs> Let's do it 